Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite recipes, which is crock pot Swedish meatballs. And I found this recipe on a website called The Country Cook, and I will make sure to link the recipe in the description box. I wanna show you everything that you will need for this recipe first. So the first thing that you are going to need is two pounds of frozen meatballs. You can use any variety that you'd like. I have a preference for either the Ikea frozen fully cooked meatballs or the Trader Joe's meatballs, either one of those. The reason I prefer those two brands is that they don't have any fillers in it, and none of the soy flour or textured vegetable protein and, and what have you. So I just prefer these, and you do wanna make sure that they are fully cooked meatballs. You're also going to need one package of Lipton onion soup mix, the dry mix. You are going to need two tablespoons of A1 steak sauce. You're going to need one can of beef broth, one can of cream of mushroom soup, one cup of sour cream, and you're going to need your egg noodles. So this is what you're gonna to need to get started and follow along with me and I'll show you how I combine everything in the crock pot. Hey guys, so let me show you how you put everything together in the crock pot. Okay. So I have my crock pot lined with the crock pot liner just because this recipe is very saucy and can stick sometimes. So all I'm gonna do is pour in my can of beef broth and my A1 steak sauce and next I am going to add my package of the Lipton onion soup mix, just one package. And one can of the cream of mushroom soup. This is such an easy recipe to make. And you know, of course the meatballs are fully cooked. So they don't have to necessarily cook for, you know, the six, the six or six to eight hours that's required for this recipe. I think the reason that they want you to cook it so long is so that all of the flavors can come together. And I'm just gonna give it a stir. So again, you can cook this for six to eight hours on low or three to five hours on high. So I have everything, all the liquids in there. So the next thing I'm gonna add is my frozen meatballs. Okay, so I have all of my frozen meatballs in there and I'm just gonna kind of give them a little stir. And I am going to cover this crock pot up and cook it on low for about seven hours. Now, when it gets close to the end of cooking time, that's when I'm gonna add in my sour cream. So I'll be back to show you guys that. Um, and then your noodles you're gonna cook separately. So I will be back at the end of the seven hours of cooking time to show you how I add in the sour cream. Okay, so it's been about seven hours now and you can see how delicious these meatballs look. Yummy, yummy. So now what I'm getting ready to do is add in one cup of sour cream and I've got my, um, my egg noodles cooking and so let me try to incorporate this sour cream into the meatballs. Okay, so I think I have incorporated it as much as I can. I still have my crock pot on low, so I'm gonna let this continue to simmer while my egg noodles are cooking. And um, once my pasta is ready, I will show you my finished plate. So I'll see you in a second. Okay guys, so here is the finished product. Here are the crock pot Swedish meatballs. Don't they look so good? Um, as you can see, my egg noodles are ready to go. The meatballs are nice and saucy, so we cannot wait to dig in. I hope you guys like this video. It is quick and simple to make, 
And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, we hope that you'll do so. Please make sure to give us a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time.